Yo what's up guys it's Aptrix here in today's video we'll be setting up the brand new Winlater Bionic Ludashi an amazing Winlater fork which aims on better performance brand new features and brand new customizations now Winlater Bionic is an completely open source windows emulator for android devices based on the original Winlater but with Bionic implementation it means that it has better Mali GPU support along with that better unsupported Snapdragon devices support it is focused on providing overall better performance inside Winlater android and the release build which we'll be trying out is known as just bionic no glipsy it was released last week and you guys can see some of the changes that have been made vc reddish has been added along with that internet explorer is present not just that but there have been lot of major changes for example proton with box 64 remote glipsy drop support for turnip and virgil container and wrapper enhancement have been made along with that ui and ux improvements and all of that was just a single day change the latest change log is of june 16 2025 just three days ago you guys can see fix core is being used inside the simulator it no longer has the infected CNC ddraw component it has been replaced so this simulator is completely safe without wasting any more time there are two builds of Winlater Bionic Ludashi build as well as Vanilla build now I recommend you guys to use the Ludashi build because it will provide you with better performance on low end android devices you can consider it like the Antutu version of any other emulator it provides more performance but it might cause heating issues if you don't want heating if you just want normal performance then go with the Vanilla version of Winlater Bionic regardless I have already added this simulator so let's start setting it up right away let's tap on allow and you'll be able to see the entire ui has been changed this is a brand new version of winlater it is a separate project from the original winlater bionic is just a folk version with brand new ui brand new features and improvements as i mentioned before so when you open it for the first time you'll need to wait until this process has been completed now do note after the process is completed it will be stuck at 100 percent for few seconds so just be patient don't restart the emulator afterwards simply tap on ok and enable this option Option. now go back let's tap on these three lines you'll be able to see all the sections that are present here we also have sales feature but we'll go to settings afterwards box 64 we have the latest 0.3.6 of box 64 preset will set it to performance duplicate this preset and make sure to set the safe flex level to zero now i personally i'm a big fan of this ui it looks very interesting we also have x server settings etc but we'll skip everything tap on the tick mark option and immediately tap on these three lines create a brand new container Set the screen size according to your device specification. There are lots of aspect ratio and resolution provided by the developer. For today's video, we'll go with 800 by 600 resolution. Wine version is by default selected as the Proton 9.0 x86. Now, Proton wines are the newest versions of wine, so we'll go with the default latest version. In terms of graphics driver, there is only one single graphics driver, which is Rapper. As Rapper is an universal graphics driver, and here you can also choose either Turnip or System, or even Snapdragon 8 Elite graphics driver it seems by default system graphics driver will work the best on unsupported devices so we'll go with system afterwards we have available extension and as you guys can see <laughs> lots of extensions are provided by the developer so we'll tap on ok in terms of dx wrapper you get dxvk vkd3d as well as wine d3d vkd3d is present so you can also play games like marvel's amazing spider-man 2 in terms of dxvk make sure to keep everything as default audio driver make sure to set it to pulse audio you can see 32 bit emulator is also present present here bionic container is by default so that's pretty amazing let's enable show fps as well as enable full screen option you also get the old school settings like the gpu name you can change the gpu name to whatever you want you can also increase the video memory size as well as select the off screen rendering mode which is very helpful for mali gpu android devices in terms of gpu name we'll just go ahead and set it to gtx 1650 super one of the best gpus of its time in terms of preset we'll set the box 64 preset as the preset that we just created x input support has been provided d input is also provided if you want to use keyboard and mouse everything else make sure to keep it as default you can also add your custom drive but that's up to you sdl2 compatibility is also provided here let's just go ahead and tap on the tick mark and our win later bionic container will be successfully created now i want to tell you guys something this is the combination of win later c mode as well it also gets the c mode ui which you can see right here nothing here launch your container to get started so basically if you create shortcuts of your game it can be viewed in the winlater c mode ui c mode is basically older version of winlater android specifically 7.1.2 but it has all the latest changes including wrapper graphics driver so it is well supported on all android devices which is its speciality with that being said let's start this container and see how well does this emulator perform here we go immediately you guys can see our windows emulator has successfully started we'll go to the start section and here we have direct text samples in extra we 
also have VC Redish, which I recommend you guys to set up if you want to play brand new games. This process will depend device to device, but for me, as you guys can see, it's pretty quick. So within few seconds, all the Microsoft VC Redish has been added. So let's try out D3D 11. As you guys can see, DirectX 11 is being rendered properly with over 4,000 FPS on my Android device. Isn't that amazing, guys? Let's go back. Let's go to Task Manager and make sure to disable this benchmark app. We'll also try DirectX 12 sample as well. I don't think DirectX 12 will work unless we try out VKD3D. So yeah, it doesn't work properly. You'll need to enable VKD3D for DirectX 12. Anyways, what are we waiting for? Let's jump right into the gameplay test. But before doing that, I'll swipe back. You guys can see even wine tricks have been provided so you can execute wine tricks, etc. Let's start off by testing out Assassin's Creed Rogue. And immediately in just a single click, as you guys can see, the game opened instantaneously. We'll swipe back and check out the input controls as well. We only get two input controls. We also have touchscreen timeout, touchscreen haptic feedback, as well as mouse settings. But here we go, our game is about to start. Even the top left corner where we get all the statistics about how well is our game working has been changed. So let's just go ahead and press any key to continue. And unfortunately, as usual, on screen touch controls do not work. So you'll need to import a brand new input touch control profile so go to this section and make sure to add the gtfi on screen touch control profile go back once again and here gtfi input touch control has been added and you guys can see now our on screen touch controls are working let's just go ahead and start a brand new game and see how much fps can we get this is quite unbelievable guys within few seconds our game is booting like seriously what's going on i have no idea this is the fastest that any other windows emulator has ever ran on my android device now the frame rate it seems is capped to 60 fps as you can see at the top left corner. We are not getting more than 60 fps but the loading times are super quick. Even if we can get stable 60 fps in a AAA title that means a lot. Let me know in the comment section down below if I should test this out on my low end android devices such as this IQZ6 Lite with Snapdragon 4 Gen 1 processor or even Mali GPU android device for which this might be a really amazing emulator. But here we go our Assassin's Creed Rogue is about to start. Once again you guys guys can see at the top left corner there are no frame drops complete stable green graph which means the game should run amazingly so here the game begins and once again stable 60 fps no frame drops at all anyways you guys can see everything is working properly and flawlessly at straight up 60 fps so this is definitely a very gameplay experience we are literally emulating AAA PC titles of our good old days without any lagging issues. Anyways guys that's going to be it for today's video. I'll be making a dedicated video showing you guys the full gameplay of games like GTA 5, Dragon Ball Z, Kakarot and lot more. Do let me know in the comment section down below what other games should I test out for the win later bionic gameplay test video. That's all for today. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.